Hello viewers, this is Kimondo's view and once again I am back. Hopefully that this video will be of good help to you and you'll be able to give it a thumb and also we will share it so that other people can also benefit. Today I want to talk so simply on those people maybe who want to get committed to each other. The spouse who are planning to get married. And why I've come is because I came across certain information as I was just going, going through my books. And I realized that this is good information to share to my viewers or with my viewers so that they can also benefit. Of course, I'm out of it because it's someone who is trying to get married or someone who is planning to win somebody. And the question that I found are very vital to you. So it is important that you ask yourself before you say I do, before you get into that house, before you get into that man's or that lady's heart. So one of the questions that maybe you would ask yourself is what if this man or this lady shift her job tonight or today he or she has been working through the day and now the shift has come he or she has to work over the night how would be your reaction how would you take it would it be still comfortable for you would you take it or you'd say no I cannot continue having you night out. What if you discover your spouse no longer has time for devotion? You married this person, you, you got this person into a relationship when she was so committed or when he was so committed to devotion, to prayers, to prison worship. And now you realize that this person, by the time you are married, that he's no longer interested in biblical work in working for God, what would you do? He doesn't have time for God now. Would you quit? How would you react to that? What if you realize that your spouse or your man or your woman has started being attracted to somebody else? Maybe a colleague or someone whom they keep interacting and you don't have any control over that what would you do what would you do if you realized that you are having communication problems your married partner is no longer interested in you communicating to you is either he has either gone silent or she has gone silent and he doesn't need any verbal communication. What if you realize that and already now you are married? You have done one, two, three. You have done your wedding. You're already together. You're living together. And you realize that the communication that used to be there is no longer there. What did you do, my friend? What did you do? If you realize that your man cannot give birth after maybe five, seven, ten years, or this lady cannot give your child, she cannot mother your child, and this after later years, five, ten years, what would you do? Would you quit? Would you run away? Would you get somebody else to father you or to mother your child? These are some of the questions that you should ask yourself. What if you realize that your spouse, friend, has become attracted to you and is trying to win you? Hey, what would you do? It has happened to many. It can also happen to you. So, these are some of the questions that, my dear friend, before you say, I do, before you put your life into committing 
to somebody's life, ask yourself these questions. Because this, these are not uh, things that just come automatically. They'll come maybe in a year's time after marriage, two years time or three years time. What you do do? Would you just sit back and watch? But now that you know, please do ask yourself these questions. Once you find the answers, you can carry on. Wish you the best as you get your spouse for a lifetime. God bless you. If this video is of good help to you, don't forget to give it a thumb. Don't forget to subscribe and also share to your friends. God bless you.